the risk of contracting cancer is increasing. And according to some recent projections, the likelihood of each of us contracting cancer over our lifetimes is rising to 50%. We need to look at this problem in a new way. We need a new way to fight this disease. One of the problems is that the conventional view of how a cancer grows is that all cells within a tumor can switch on that tumor. However, when you look closely at a tumor, you realize that not all cells are the same and that some cells are more aggressive than others. This has led to a series of experiments where a tumor has been broken apart into single cells and then each cell was tested to see if it could form a tumor on its own. What was found was that some cells were very good at forming tumors, but the bulk of cells were very bad. This is what the idea of a cancer stem cell is. Literally cells that are responsible for the growth of a tumor and ultimately its relapse. And the idea is that these may be used and targeted to turn tumors off. For instance, skin cancers are by far the most common type of cancer. About 81,000 people in the UK each year develop a skin cancer. What is being found is that about 1% of the cells in some skin cancers are actually driving cancer growth. If we could work out what makes these cells tick, then we could target therapies that switch off these cells and cure this particular type of cancer for good. Here at the European Cancer Stem Cell Research Institute, we are beginning to address the cancer stem cell idea by building a team of dedicated researchers. These include new group leaders, new independent fellows, new postdocs, and new technicians and support staff. We also massively benefit from the support of our patron, Sir Terry Matthews, and the scientific advisors he's been able to bring on board, including Neil Kinnock and Jean Chrétien. To house this team, we have built a brand new state-of-the-art facility, the Hayden Ellis Building, which not only brings the team into one fantastic space to foster and nurture new interactions and collaborations, but will also allow us to grow over the coming years to deliver on the promise of the cancer stem cell idea. So I suppose that if this research is successful, we will have found a new way to fight this disease and may finally have the tools to switch off cancer forever. Forever.